Dala, pungua pale. These are now the mail wards. Mail wards to Mejenga Mbili to accommodate the large number of male patients. How many male patients do you have? 94 uh, minus 17. Discharge, 17 discharge. No, 17 oh, no, no. female. No female. Yeah. Many around 72. But what is the recovery of discharge? To discharge, to support a family. Inakuwa shida kupata family kwa sababu wengine hawakumbuki. Tukuna wengine ambao hata hawakumbuki majina yao. Ndia. Kuna wengine wametoka. Asim. Ndia. Sorry, sorry. This is the male ward. Wale wazee na wale ambao hawajiwezi wako hapa. Vijana wako chini tumewekia double deck. They are very clean. Wakiwa hapa wanafundisha usafi wenyewe, responsibilities. So wamezoea kuishi barabarani lakini tunashukuru wakiwa hapa. They get the knowledge to prepare them in case to cure discharge. Watakuwa wanajua the basics of hygiene na usafi. Very clean. Hizi yeah. bom zote zinafanana. So tumetuingiza hii because zote ziko same. So hii ni wale wazee na wasiojiweza vijana na wengine tumewekea double deckers ya chini. Alafu kuna two showers, two toilets. In each dorm ziko na mbele. So we had a challenge ya wakati mgonjwa akiwa na homa ukimpeleka hospitali unaambiwa lazima umpeleke kwa mental. Yeah. So ndio tukaja na hii idea ya kujenga hospitali yetu. Yeah, ukifika for this this is our reception and this is our first observation room. This is our first observation room ambao anaonekana wagonjwa wetu na pia tuko na nia ya kufungua hospitali milango ili watu wa nje waweze kupata huduma. Okay. Karibu madawa chakula This is our pharmacy This is our pharmacy So tukifungulia milango watu nje pia watakuwa na mafaita na madawa This is our second observation room. Ayo uh, meona. We have a proposed laboratory. This is our proposed lab. Bado atuja hii equip. Yeah. Sorry. And then we have the male side and the female side. In case of any admission, kama malaria, infection, kato changani. Atakuwa na observation hapa and then tutam transfer. shindano ya kwa hivyo tutakuombea Mungu uweze kuchukua hii Mombasa yeah. County uweze kutusupport kwa hii project na mimi pia unipigie campaign kabisa nichukue kiti cha women rep ndio niweze kuweka hizi center kila sehemu shaba naweza kuwa kazi kubwa mimi full support yake anayo natoka mbali wa
Tukapata shida sana kutafuta familia yake all the way from Nakuru. But eventually tulipopata alikuwa amepotea for almost 8 uh, years. Na this year uh, last year December tuweza kumdestart na karibuni atafunga ndoa. It's going to be our honor to attend uh, the marriage ceremony. Kuna wengine kama huyu Jack, Jack hajaweza kukumbuka hata nyumbani. But speaks fluent Oh, you can look at So these are people ambao tunachukua right from the street ili waweze kupata mahali pazuri. This is the first ambao tunatoka kwenda barabarani. Kuna challenge kwa sababu apart from metro Saida anakuwa mgonjwa. Tunapopeleka kwa sijana wa kinga tu hospitali. Ni watu ambao sasa hawana NHIF, hawana chochote. Hadi hadi. Ndio 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 kuwa tukimchukua. Na hivi ndivyo alivyo sasa. Mwingine kama huyu mtua alipotea kwao kutoka Kitui since 207. Alisema anaenda Kitui kutafuta kazi until uh, almost two months ago ndo tuweza kupata familia yake na wao wenyewe walikuwa shocked others kama huyu she is a lady tulipompata she was in Kenya she was a Ugandan so it really gave us a hard time kutafuta familia eventually Ugandan embassy chipped in na wakaweza ku advance na pia alikuwa haongei Kiswahili ama Kizungu so she was later transferred to Uganda for further treatment wengine kama hawa tuli rescue ndani ya nyumba wakiwa very passive na very violent but tuko nao hapa na wanaendelea vizuri na treatment kama huyu ni very old alikuwa pale upande wa bondeni na fikiri shafaa wamjua tumemjua huyu for the rest of nikinukia tunamwona akiwa namna hii so tulipoanza huu mradi tukasema huyu ndo atakuwa patient 001 na anaendelea vizuri familia yake imekataa kabisa so unapata mtu akiwa na matatizo ya akili anakuwa neglected na familia so as a center we are trying to educate people that haya ni magonjwa wa kawaida na mtu afai kukua kutupwa anafaa apate mahali atapata matibabu na ataweza kuangaliwa vizuri huyu hata yuko hapa We have others ambao wame improve vizuri.
Tulianza kupata familia yake Malindi lakini hali ya familia ili tulazimu waruri ndio huyu Karisa. So Karisa ni mfano mzuri kuwa matibabu ya hili yanaweza mtu anaweza kutibika na kupata matibabu. Na nashukuru Karisa ni msaada wetu hapa ambaye anasaidia wagonjwa wengi.